Hey guys, as you can see, I'm still in the same sweater because I'm filming this the same time I filmed my last video. <coughs> Sorry, let me take a drink. I'm going to go flip through through Whimsy Girls Through the Decades coloring book by Hannah Lynn. And um, if you want to see body color in this or the last book I put, you can just let me know. So, whoops. Oh, wait, I'm messing up. All right, so here's the cover. Here's the side. Nothing on the side. I can't see my camera, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, and here's the back. Gives you two examples. And it says there's two different versions of each page. So in Hannah Lynn books, I'll show you when we get there. Hannah Lynn books, there's one more detailed with um, the girl, a larger image of the girl. And then the next page is less details in the background and she's more in the forefront. So it says, hop into your time machine and take an epic adventure into the bygone. I said, I thought it said bugon areas. I can't even read. Let me start again. Hop into your time machine and take an epic adventure into the by. Oh, I'm going to bed. <laughs> into the bygone eras of yesteryear with the whimsy girls, featuring featuring adorable girls in fun historical fashions and scenes spanning more than a century. You'll have an absolute blast coloring the past. 25 unique designs with two copies of each, one original detailed version and another simplified version. So I'll show you what you mean, what she means. If you've never seen a Hannah Lone book, this is how I believe most of them are. So you get the title page. And then this gives you an order of appearance. Whimsy goes through the decade. Um, it gives you a little, um, I'm trying to think, what is this? Preview of what you're going to be doing. Um, it looks like it goes up to from, oh geez, I can't even tell you. I would say, I don't know. Um, 1910, 1920. So probably 1890 until 2010, I'm guessing. Um, we start here. Now see how this is more detailed and this is more not detailed, it's more her in the forefront rather than you know the horse in the back the carriage it just has a little bit of the carriage and her so <clears throat> okay I like that though because sometimes I do want to color more detailed things but sometimes like this is very detailed but like maybe I could just do this page if I don't want to do it detailed but I plan on doing I do plan on doing both of the pages um so yeah I just want to do both of the pages and um, but I, I probably won't do them both together. I'll do them like one and then another. Or whatever I prefer that day. And there's a tag in here just because I'm doing a buddy color with Stacy um, for King Colored. Um, so I want to just make sure I remember what page I chose or that we chose together that we're doing. Finger. Do do do. That'd be good for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's gonna spill her drink on her bathing suit. Do I really want a soda? I think I'm gonna drink some Diet Coke. This one's so cute with the 60s uh, receptionist. I can't wait to cover color. Hold on. I'll show you what's coming up. This page is going to be groovy to color. I just heard something and I'm scared now. This page, I'm so excited to color this page and this page. That's going to be so much fun. Uh, me and Stacy, we're not doing this page. We're doing this page together. Um... It's the 80s page, and I'm just going to go with the flow, kind of see what I want to do. But yeah, this book is very, very interesting. I really like the um, all the different styles of the decades. I really enjoy the decades books um, and kind of looking up what colors they used to wear and how they used to... Um, 
you know, how, how they used to dress and what colors were popular and stuff. The grunge one, I'm so excited to do the grungy one. Yeah, I really am. We get into the 2000s with the preppy. And sorry if you hear that car just drove by blasting some music. Hip hop era. It's gonna be fun to do. Beach girl with Ugg boots. This reminds me of the Ashley Tisdale picture where she has like the boots on, the pink boots and the sweater on. She's like, that's the worst I've ever dressed. <laughs> and then it stops here, which I do believe is 2010 ish. Um, I think this book was made. When was it made? Oh, look in the top. This is really cute, just being cozy and yeah, I liked how that is like how our era is just being cozy and doing our stuff at home. I'll tell you when the book is from. Uh, 2020, so it probably is 2010. So yeah, I give it two thumbs up. I think it's a great book. I always end up doing two thumbs up just because I always like, listen, I look through a flip through before I buy it to see if I like it, but I definitely like it. It's on Amazon paper, but I don't really have a problem with that. Um, I never did. Um, you just have to watch out for yellowing and bleed through if you use alcohol markers. But I hope you enjoyed the video and take care of yourself. And thank you again for all my subscribers. And I love you all. Bye.